you won't believe it, but I actually, I actually got weak this week. Yeah, it was my birthday week, so maybe I can get weak on my birthday week, but I bought something and I shouldn't have bought it. But, <laughs> so if you want to know what it is, absolutely stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, please take a moment and go down below and subscribe to the channel. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure you like the video and leave me a comment. It would make me very happy. So for those of you that are curious, what did I get weak about? You may have seen a while ago that I had been in Ulta and I had been eyeballing this palette from Bare Minerals and this was their Rose Inspired palette and I wasn't going to buy it. And then I had the 20% off coupon and I went to Ulta and it was the day late and I couldn't get it. And uh, so then I said, okay, it wasn't meant to be, you know, sometimes things are just not meant to be. And then of course, along comes my birthday email and what do I get in the mail from Ulta? But I get a, I think it was like a $10 off anything in the store plus my birthday gift. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go check this palette out because you know I like lighter, neutral, rosy kind of pinky colors. I'm not as huge fan of the browns. I do like some grays and all that. And I have a real hard time playing around with eye shadows. I wish I was good as some of the other ladies on YouTube, but I have a long way to go. So I ended up taking my $10 off coupon and I ended up buying the palette. And if you haven't seen it, these are the colors. And I really, really like them a lot. Now, today, I used basically this all over my lid. And then I did my sort of, I don't know, what do you call it? Maybe my transition color, you know, like around the hoodie area. And then the darker one in the V, the outer V. And then I did a little bit of the glitter, this little kind of gray glitter in the center. And then I took and I did a dab of the rose infused right on the middle maybe to sort of highlight so I have not used this before I did swatch it in the store I did like the way the colors looked oops I dropped the uh, the brush thing I did like the way the colors looked and I thought I like that so I bought it this is the first time this is basically I guess you're gonna have a first look at the the sort of amateur look I created. But I really, I really enjoy, I'm enjoying the palette. It's expensive, it's $45, not on sale. I got the $10 off. And, and so that made it a little bit more affordable for me. Now, it's not gonna replace my Viseart. My Amethyst palette is still my favorite. But what I really liked about this is it had some of the same types of shades in that palette. And it had a lighter, in my opinion, neutral shade that I could go, like a creamier shade that I could go all across my lid, which I really, really liked. In my Viseart palette, it had that neutral, the pink, which would pull pink a little bit. So I wanted to have a creamier, more neutral shade. And this, I think, gave me what I was looking for. And I think it's called Expose, the color I use. Oops, I don't want to blind you. But I like the range of shades here. And I thought that it might be perfect for when I'm traveling. So when I, I sound like I'm a real traveler, I'm not. But I am going to Texas. So I am like trying to think of like, what can I pick up? that would have, you know, maybe an all-around type of a palette that I don't need to really dig into having multiple palettes with me or whatever. So I really, I really like that. I also, when I was in Ulta, bought the Urban Decay. Now, when I first started doing beauty talk or topics on YouTube, I think it was maybe, maybe back in July or April, of 2016 when I started to really explore cosmetics and actually talk about it on my YouTube channel. And one of the first eye pencils in the water line that I got that, were water, that was waterproof was the Urban Decay Glide On. And I really like this pencil, but I said at the time to pay $20 for an eye pencil made absolutely no sense to me. I would use this pencil not every single day because it would be a combination between this pencil and the Sephora twist up that I had. But even though this needs to be sharpened 
all the time. You can see I still have some left. Dollar for dollar, I've gone through, because of the twist-ups, tend to break off easier, at least when I use them. So while I like the Sephora waterproof and I have tried the Rimmel, the Rimmel just always breaks for me. A lot of the any kind of twist up for the eyeliner breaks for me. So, you know, I would find myself buying more and more of them while all along I still had this baby and this lasted me, granted not everyday use, but this lasted me a long, long, almost I would, I'm in, a, this will go until April without a doubt, but I did buy a divine replacement. <laughs> but you know, it's my birthday gift for myself. So I did buy that replacement, but this will last me. So dollar for dollar, this isn't all that bad of a buy when you don't have to replace it, when the tip isn't going to break off and you carry your little pencil. And then, you know, in general, I'm not a fan of the pencils, but I really, I was really, really happy with that. So the other thing, and this was sent to me through the Octolite Network, and I do have a coupon for anyone that's interested, 5% off promo code. I'll put that in the description box. But this was sent to me. This is um, a Korean. This is Morgan Miller Rose Chamomile oh, Facial Cleansing Wipes. So I, I actually love, and I know there's been a couple of reviews on this, I actually love how this smells and I love how it works. So because as you know, I'm using Retin-A on my skin, I still have moments late in the day where my lower part of my face peels like crazy or flakes. And you, if you see that I'm always touching my face, sometimes I'm rubbing my skin, the dry areas, pulling my ears, you know, stuff like that. I gotta, I've got to break that habit. but. I love having this and I love the fact that it snaps closed. You can hear it. It stays nice and moist it's, it, and it smells nice and it does a great job. It actually removes my makeup very, very nicely. So when I'm in the office and I need to do a lower sort of like, not exfoliation, but you know, just need to rub off some of that skin because I still have maybe a couple of hours left and I have things I have to do. I'll take one of these out and I'll rub. And then I'll do just a little bit of a touch-up on my makeup. And half the time, the, the touch-up that I'm going to be using is my uh, Physician's Formula Cushion, the 50 SPF, because that is in my, my purse. And also, I have an It Cosmetic Compact that I use uh, foundation, and that's the 50 SPF. So those are the two that I would touch up, I would use for my touch-up if I need to. But I'm loving this. Again, this was sent to me from the Octoly Network, free in exchange for my opinion. And my opinion is this is this is a, um, a keeper for me. I really, really like it. A lot of you have asked me to give you a closer look at my watch band replacement. I bought this off of Amazon. I hope that you can see it. It is for my Apple Watch. It is very easy, if you have an Apple Watch you know, but it is very easy to change out your bands out of an Apple Watch. And this is not an everyday look for me, but this is one of those, just a little extra bling, bling, that I want. Bling, bling, is that a word? But yeah, just a little extra bling, bling. So when I'm going out somewhere special, I will swap out my Apple Watch band and I will put that on. The other thing I got this week, and I haven't used it, I didn't realize how heavy this was gonna be, but I actually saw this, I think it was on Melissa M. Mrs. Melissa M's video. If you're not following her, you really should. She's a, she's an amazing woman. She's also struggles with diet and lifestyle issues, and so she shares a lot of her diet challenges. And I just enjoy listening to her video. So she had, I think, shown one of these hair clips in one of her videos, and I thought, "Holy cow, is that the prettiest thing?" So what did Monica do? I bought it and I really like it. Now I haven't really put it in my hair yet. It's heavy, it's metal. So I'm surprised at how heavy it really is. That was a nice thing falling off my roof. We had snow last night, can you believe it? But anyway, so I'm surprised how heavy it is, but I really, really like that a lot. And I have to tell you, this was also sent to me. I've already done a review on this. I've already talked about this. You all saw Jay sniff me. Didn't sound good when I wore this perfume. But I have to tell you, I have La Vie Est Bédie Lancôme. 
I'm sure it's not the way you pronounce it. But I must tell you, since I have received this, I have worn this just about every day. I have gotten so many compliments on this fragrance. Granted, fragrance is very, very, it's, you know, it's very individual. So what smells good on one person may not smell good on another. But so many people, more so than ever before, complimented me on this fragrance. And I am really, really loving this. This was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly website from Lancome. And as you all know, Jay really loves it. But I want to tell you, after a couple of weeks, I think it's maybe been about three weeks now, of almost daily use, I am still getting compliments almost every day on my perfume. And I really love, love that. So my Bare Minerals, yeah, I weak, weak moment, but I bought it. I also had bought, some of you know I bought this, and I tried this a couple of times. And I'm just having a really hard time with this. I bought this when it was on sale. I like the colors. Let's see if I can cover this up somehow. I'll cover it up with my Bare Minerals box. But it's, uh, I like the colors a lot. It's a very, very smoky, very dark look. Not at all a, a light, easy look that I like. The one thing that I'm having a hard time with this, ooh, I look a little shiny, um, but that's puff, of course. I'd rather look shiny than have dry patches. So anyways, um, the one thing that I like, I like about this is the color range. I do like the color range. The one thing that I found, and I had a difficult time with this, is that for my level, I have to go very, very, very light. My Viseart is a palette that I can put on and build up, and I love that control. I can put it on, I can deepen it, I can darken it, I can add more, and I can build it up, I can blend it. I love the blendability of that. With the Urban Decay Smoky, when I put it on, it's like, whoa, baby, it is like all there and totally crazy. So th with this, I have to try to take it off. I have to try to remove some of it not build it up. So I find that to be on the difficult side. Again, the Urban Decay, the Bare Minerals, I, I paid for that. I bought, I paid for it with my own money. It's just something that I, I really wanted to try because I want to try to have sexy eyes, I guess, a sexier eye look. And um, it's just uh, the darker shadows are just not working out that well for me. But this is my first day on my Bare Minerals. So what do you think of this kind of look? I have, like I said, I showed you the colors I put on, but I am trying to, it, it's it's got the little purpley, but it's more, I think it's a more um, lighter, smoky look for me. Maybe I'm wrong. And I know it's probably not blended perfect, you know, because obviously when I look at myself in an outside mirror or my car mirror, I go, oh my gosh, you know, when I rub, rub. But it's probably not perfectly blended, but I am kind of really... I'm kind of liking the effect that I have so far. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you all had a great week. I have a vlog coming up that I will share some of my birthday clips, some of the things that we did on my birthday. And just, you know, it was just a, it was just a really nice, nice, nice birthday celebration. And as nervous as I was about turning 64. I don't know why. It was kind of crazy, but it was. It was really a good day. So thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave me a comment and thumbs up the video. And for all of you, all my loyal friends that watch my videos and comments on, comments on my videos all the time, thank you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.